Hi guys, uh, this is 2018 uh, Mitsubishi Outlander, so GF model. So this I'm going to do um replace for the rear brake pads because this one had uh, the EPB brakes, that means electronic parking brakes in this unit. So before the replace with brake pads, we have to rewind in this motor to the back. Otherwise, when you trying to push it, this part can be damaged so first we have to put the scan tool and this motor rewind back okay here's my scan tool I got the service function so you can see in here the brake reset go to the brake reset okay. there is the VIN number Okay, and after follow up the Mitsubishi. Okay, Mitsubishi. Click that one. Ignition switch on. It's okay. Select for the Australia. Outland uh, GF model. So fully release for the control. So that one, we click it. So you can see here option. Go to the see. here. Okay, when you switch on. Okay, that how is that is how is the rewind the. The caliper motor, the handbrake, EPP brake system. So now, okay, we have to should to go for the remove for the calipers and the brake pad out. You can see the here the motor. This is the why we rewind it. So you have to first off the this connector right then you can see the piston we have to push down back so put this screw driver piston put in back you can see the piston is moving back okay After that, we have to off the 14 mil two bolt in here. Okay, I take it out the caliper. So you can see the piston in here. It's going back already. the ground and off the the brake pads this is the EPB uh, electronic parking brake brake pad they have two different type brake pads you have to make sure to get the correct pads you have to tell them to the electronic parking brake they have in the car so okay here's the new pad this old pad it's the same you can see the thickness this pad is already gone worn out another foot of 14 mil bolt in here caliper okay 
just two sliding pin now you have to take it out the rotor okay guys we machine in the rotor Side. This side, all good. Okay, guys, this is the right hand side. So I already off this side. You can see the piston. The boot is damaged also this side. Caliper. I off the this this side already. Okay, here are the two rotors. After we machine it, I machine the both rotors. So now we have to put the back in the to the car. When you press in the piston, have a look. Your brake fluid bottle is a uh, oil is getting pouring out. So this one is okay, it's getting like looks like level. So I got to put back the rotors. Okay guys, going to put back the brake pads. I put the grease on the top and bottom edge. Okay. Get the 18 mil uh, spanner and all this inside bolt. Same as like this. Tighten the cord. Okay, then after we have to put back the connector. Oh, good. This side. Okay guys, we put the new machine rotor in here and put back the brake pads. Okay, now the brake caliper. Boot also damaged for this one. Okay, 
Okay, two 14 mm caliper bolts. One in here. Tight. Okay, nice. After tightening the 14 mil bolt, all done. So this side also we done. You can see the cap and pull back the this connector. all good so after that you press the brake pedal okay so you can see the electric parking brake switch in here so we have to start the car and this one pulling the upside twice you can hear the okay just unwinding up all good stop it okay guys you're going to start the car you can see the handbrake light is on so then I press the brake and push the brakes sliver up can the noise light off then you can press up it's the red color the handbrake light is on Okay. So then after check the brake fluid levels, it's like uh, the maximum mark. Then put back the cover. Okay, guys. Finally, we done the job. We installed the new brake pad and the machine the rotors. So this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching my videos. We we'll see you in the next one.